so I, I haven't planned this i really decided i'll talk about a topic which just uh, intuitively comes up and that i want to talk about over the last 6 months i have been uh, i have seen a tremendous change in me i have become a more um, mindful person um i like being with myself i have almost gotten over um bothering about what people would say and external validation uh, and being an attention seeker that i was um i'm i'm much more calm and peaceful and happy with myself with who i am and with my identity so what i've been practicing for the last 6 months is mindfulness Uh, and i have coined an interesting term for it uh, i like to call it the monk mode so m o n k monk mode um and i like to switch into the monk mode uh, one day in a week so every monday is when i practice being in the monk mode and um, maybe i'll do another video on what i do the entire day uh, when i'm in this monk mode now i switch on into the monk mode several times during the day and uh, an easier term to understand that is mindfulness of course i do many more things about which i will write and shoot soon so mindfulness there are two types because our mind is full all the time so there is mind f u l l fullness where your mind is full it's uh, full with uh, thoughts thoughts of what you want to do next what you want to speak next uh it, it's full of either the fears or the worry something or the other it's it's full and i have really learned the art of emptying the mind and it has been tremendously useful for me tremendously beneficial for me uh so i thought let me share this with you the other is the mindfulness that is m i n d f u l mindfulness mindfulness simply defined is being present in the moment it's being present in the now being aware of your breath being aware of your bodily sensations being aware of your surroundings being in the moment unfortunately most of us have our minds full with either something that happened in the past or about an anxiety of the future we never in the present moment and believe me your power lies in the present moment so there are three things i do to be in the present moment number one i have started practicing mindful eating it's been more than 3 years that i have turned turned completely vegetarian and i'm really loving it um i'm surrounded by non-veg food many of the time i travel a lot uh but never did i get tempted so i'm i'm really happy about myself that's uh, a decision that i've made and and that change has really benefited me uh, at a mind and emotional level so i practice mindful eating i'm trying to be a vegan i have uh, gotten rid of dairy products as much as possible so i wouldn't call myself completely vegan because tea and coffee is one thing i can't get over um Yeah so I practice mindful eating and that is about being in the present moment while eating so I avoid talking to anyone when I'm eating I avoid being on my phone when I'm eating be completely present with what you are eating uh, be aware of the taste the way the the texture of the food while you take a bite into it the way it melts into your mouth be thankful and grateful for the fact that you have food um that's mindful eating for me Number 2 what I do is mindful writing. Now this is something that I try to do every 2 hours. Um so you could have a small diary like this and a pen uh that that you can carry anywhere you go and I write down what I'm grateful for at that particular moment. So I begin writing I am happy and grateful that I can speak. I'm happy and grateful that uh I have great communication skills. Uh maybe I've just got a deal, uh got myself a corporate uh, session. I write down that I'm happy and grateful that I've got a, a corporate session. And I pretty much practice this anywhere. Uh so 
there are times when i have eight hours of full sessions but then i try to catch up on this during the lunch during the tea break and believe me it hardly takes a minute it hardly takes a minute you can uh, start by putting in as less as one minute to do this the third thing that i do is uh, mindful breathing and this is really mind blowing this is really this really really feels blissful when you're you know able to do that now in mindful breathing all i do is i close my eyes and i take six deep breaths and i completely focus on the breath i completely focus on the breath how it feels how it feels uh, at the tip of my nose uh, whether the you know the air that i'm breathing is cool or is it it's warm the temperature how it's feeling in my throat in my chest i do six deep breaths that brings me in the present moment that really really calms me down and then i become aware of my bodily sensations how is it feeling how is it feeling in my shoulders in my head all over in my chest all over my body i become aware of the bodily sensations and again that's a very very blissful feeling and after this what i do is again i am full of gratitude for the present moment and full of gratitude for my breath i'll do one more video on how to breathe properly uh, you know because we're breathing all the time that is one act that we take uh, really very very for granted uh, most of us don't breathe correctly and we don't breathe fully we don't uh, fully utilize the capacity of our lungs uh, thanks to our smartphones we're all uh, you know always like narrow and slouched uh, digging into our phone because of which our lungs narrow down and we never breathe properly so it's really really important to breathe properly so that's it my dear friends uh, so repeating again mindfulness is about being in the present moment three things three easy things that you can do to start practicing mindfulness is mindful eating mindful writing and mindful breathing thank you thank you very much